Hi there, I'm Charlie and I'm joined here with Callum, a customer support manager at Education Quizzes. Now we want to arm you as parents with all the information that you need to help your children through their education and today we're looking at the 11 plus. Uh, so Callum, I'm sure you know lots about it, so tell us exactly what is the 11 plus? Yeah, of course. Uh, the 11 plus is an exam which children take in their last year of primary school. So when they're 11 years old? Na actually not, no. The exams are taken in September at the start of the last year in primary school. Uh, most children are only 10 when they take it. Oh, okay. Why is that? It's to allow uh, for plenty of time for applications to secondary schools. The results are usually available in October, but there can be a lengthy appeals process. Okay, uh, and tell me, do all children have to take the 11 plus? No, no, uh, it just depends where they live, really. Ah, okay, so it's not a national exam then? No, no, years ago all children in the UK, um, except Scotland, had to sit the 11 plus. But most education authorities stopped using it a long time ago. So would you say it's no longer important then? No, it, it's very important. Uh, for those areas with selective schools, the 11 plus results determine which secondary school pupils will attend. So how will a parent know if their child will have to take the 11 plus? Well, as a rough guide, um, the 11 plus is still, still used in Buckinghamshire, uh, Essex, Kent, Lincolnshire and, uh, and North Yorkshire. Okay, uh, is that all? Uh, no, no. Some some boroughs all over the country actually use the eleven plus. Uh, it's it's always best to check with your child's primary school to see if it's applicable. Okay. So what are the exams actually made up of? Uh, again, that depends on where you live. Really? Yeah. There are there are four sections to the eleven plus. There's the there's the English and maths, and there's also the non-verbal reasoning and the, the verbal reasoning. So if you live in an area where the 11 plus is relevant, will the primary schools teach it? No, not specifically. Uh, English and maths will probably be important in the exam, and because uh, these, these are part of the national curriculum. But verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning will almost certainly never be taught in school. If those subjects are important, why don't the schools teach them? They're, they're actually there to test the child's intelligence. Uh, the original aim of the 11 plus was to find the very brightest pupils. I see, okay. Okay, so uh, tell me more about verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning. Well, uh, they're often abbreviated to VR and NVR, and it's highly improbable that you or your child will encounter them anywhere other than the 11 plus. Okay, and how do these reasoning tests work? They present the child with a logical problem to see how, how well they can solve them. It's, it's similar to an IQ test, I suppose. Now, you said earlier that exams are different in different areas. Can you expand on that? Yeah, yeah. so uh, in some areas, children will be tested on all four sections. Uh, in some, maybe just three, and in others, uh, only on two. And how does a parent know which tests their child would have to take? The only way to be sure is, is to just speak to your school. And how are the 11 plus exams scored? Uh, differently to most exams. Students are compared to one another rather than there being a pass or a fail. I see. How, how does that work? Well, it's quite complicated. The, the average score is given a mark of 100. So a score over 100 is a pass? No. Uh, the top 15% of pupils are given marks above 115. These are considered above average and they're the first to be let into selective schools. Just the top 15%? That, that's sort of very selective. Yes it is, yeah. Uh, but the aim of the 11 plus is to find the very brightest children. Okay, uh, if a child fails the 11 plus, uh, can they retake it? Almost always no, unless there are special circumstances. Uh, however, there is an appeals procedure that allows parents to attempt to persuade the school of their choice to accept the child. Brilliant. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much, Callum. Uh, so it seems that uh, your child might not have to take the 11 plus, but if they do, we hope you know a little bit more about it. It's sort of reasoning and intelligence tests rather than simple tests based on school subjects. Uh, until next time, goodbye.